Uh, just a couple injuries from the game. Apke uh, re-injured his hamstring. Uh, Chris Thompson uh, injured his rib on the other side. Uh, Trent had a thumb dislocation, and uh, Bibbs had a shoulder labrum. Uh, came out of place a couple times. And then Ryan Anderson uh, had a knee strain uh, and a muscle in the back of his knee. Jay, uh, yesterday Trent had said he hopes he would be able to play this weekend. Is there any kind of prognosis on how long this thing might be? I think he's in a cast right now, and then uh, on Wednesday we'll see if we can uh, jerry-rig it where he can have some strength in the thumb where he can grip. That's the most important thing. Um, there's a good chance he can play with that thing, but we'll, we'll know more on Wednesday or Thursday. Is it a matter of him having to practice with it to see what he can do? Or? Uh, yeah, I think it'll be important at some point, see what he can grab and, and how he can use that. How severe is the new rib injury for Chris? Um, I don't know. We're getting to check that right now. Um, we'll see. I think it's uh, going to be a day-to-day thing, a pain tolerance thing. Uh, maybe wear a rib pad. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, that ribs, you know, those are, those are painful. And, you know, whether or not he can be effective with that thing, I don't know. Running back, we'll see how much it improves come Saturday or Sunday. And with Troy, considering the, the nature of the injury, re-aggravating again, is IR a possibility for him? I would say so. We're going to talk to him and then get the final uh, word on how many weeks we think it might be. If it's going to be four to six weeks, then IR is a, or eight weeks, whatever it might be, uh, IR is a possibility. Is Trent, it's just a matter of then, would he be able to grab or not grab with the thumb? Is that what we're really mostly thinking about with this? That, that yes. would be the issue? Yes. Yeah. Um, how much has Adrian's arrival kind of changed with, you know, you guys wanting to run the ball? I mean, was that an emphasis in camp, too? It seems like it was. But just how, it, how did, has Adrian factored into that at all? And then what was it kind of like in camp? Well, I think uh, his production has – been such that we've continued to run the ball. You know, when you have success running the football, uh, you're not just going to stop running it. You're going to keep running, especially with a guy that's hot like he is right now. So our offensive line, tight ends, receivers are doing an excellent job blocking for him. <clears throat> and we're getting some big hits, staying on track for the most part. We've added some RPO type things, which, uh, you know, we've ended up handing off a lot of them. Um, so uh, I don't foresee any major changes to our game plan. He's going to be a major part of it. Is it sustainable the way you guys are winning games with defense and run that's old-fashioned but you know is it just with how pass happy the league is at some point is the offense going to need to take a step forward to yeah who knows every game is going to be different some games we might have to throw it 50 times you never know um but the object is obviously to win the game and however we see fit we'll do the best we can to game plan accordingly so you know right now we're having some success running the football holding the ball uh playing field position battle uh, that might have to change uh, depending on how the game goes next week. You were fairly optimistic that you could see some improvement in the passing game soon. You said it will get better. I mean, are you still seeing an improvement after after yesterday? Or is yeah, we're still- close. You know, we missed some opportunities, of course, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going to get there. Um, you know, I think uh, just a matter of it might be a missed throw here or there. It might be a, a poor route maybe. It might be a protection issue just a little. We're just not – quite in full sync right now at this time. Um, so I, I imagine we're going to continue to get better and better. I know that uh, Alex has a strong work ethic and desire to, and as the offensive line and receivers do also in tight ends. So uh, it's a total team effort when it comes to the passing game. you got to have protection. you got to have good routes. you got to have good route combinations against what the defense is playing, and, uh, and you have good throws. So right now it's not fully in sync, but uh, we're not turning the ball over, and uh, we're doing some good things also. After the game, uh, DJ Swearinger mentioned how uh, you know guys weren't happy with the way some things went. Um, uh, Josh Norman also talked about you know screwing up in, in some co- coverage on that last touchdown. Is that a good thing that even after a win going to five and two, there's some guys in the room who feel like they could have been a whole lot better in a lot of areas? Yeah, there's no doubt. I think a lot of areas we can say uh, we can point to a lot of circumstances in that game where we can play a lot better uh, in every phase. So. Uh, that's a good thing. It's, we have a lot of room for improvement. It's a better thing that the players understand that and are willing to come in here and work and, and fix some things that need fixing. And that's going to be the case every week. You know, We're never going to play a perfect game. We're going to try our butts off to do that. But uh, the goal is to play together, uh, 
get to know one another and uh, continue to fight till the bitter end. But uh, I love the way we're competing. That's the most important thing. We're running the football on defense. It's great team defense right now. Give up a play or two, but uh, uh, you know we 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 stop the damage for the most part and, and play good red zone defense and third down defense and rush the passer. Played the run very well. So, and then offensively, uh, like I said, we had some good plays, had some good drives. We just didn't finish them very well. You said you're, you feel you're clo- getting close in the pass game. What little things maybe that you're seeing that, whether or not they're showing up to the public at large, but you're seeing it on film, whatever that says that you are getting close. Yeah, I mean, there's there's something all the time, really. I mean, there's some opportunities for us to make some big plays we're not making. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get into the X's and O's and, and the reasons why. I just know that they're out there, and, and, and I think the players can see that they're out there. We just got to keep working, keep running, uh, and, uh, and, and let Alex do his thing. And uh, he's just going to continue to get more and more comfortable with each player. You know, there's still some nuances, whether it's a choice route or an option route, where we're just a little bit hesitant here and there, or maybe it's a deep ball that uh, we're not letting go or let loose, or we haven't had time to let loose uh, for whatever reason. So we just got to continue to keep plugging away at what we're doing, and, uh, and, and things will happen positively. And kind of playing off what Matt had asked earlier about, you know, the passing game needed to get going. Do you ever go into a game looking, for example, Atlanta this week has a high-powered passing game and all that, that you feel you may have, you know, this may be more of a shootout game. Do you ever go in there thinking that you're going to, you know, you may need more from that or do you just kind of let it play out? We'll let it play out, but we understand that Atlanta's got a powerful offense and great weapons as the last few teams we've played has had also. So every week it's going to be a great challenge for us. Julio, Mo and uh, obviously, Matt Ryan and, and Ridley, uh, they're great players. Coleman out of the backfield is a very good back. So uh, it's going to be another great challenge for our secondary and our pass rush. Um, and then offensively, you know, if we have to match a few scores here and there. But we don't ever anticipate a team coming in here and scoring a lot of points. But, hey, it's going to be a shootout this week. We anticipate our defense playing extremely well and, and offensively uh, sticking with our plan. Is there a different mentality you have to have when running the ball like that, just the physical presence and that sort of thing? Yeah, we're uh, yeah. It's a different mentality, and our guys uh, can buy into it. The the best thing about our running style right now is is we can do a lot of different things. You've seen the power running games. You've seen the the tight zones. You've seen the outside zones. You've seen the gap traps. You've seen pulling guards and tackles on the perimeter. Uh, some toss cracks. You've seen a little bit of everything in our running game, which has been very very effective. Uh, which which you know I think uh, the receivers are doing a better job blocking also, which is important. Uh, but I think uh, we have a pretty good scheme right now, and, and we're utilizing it pretty good in running game. There was a play in the game yesterday. I think it was Paul Richardson. had It looked like he had a step, and there was a deep ball thrown to him. But it just it seemed so far off that something had gone wrong on that play, and I just wondered, was Alex just way off, or was there something else that should have happened there? Or Yeah, he just missed the throw a little bit. He came across. He made a great read, made, uh, made, made the throw, and just, uh, you know, Threw it a bad location, really. I don't think he could really step into the throw. I think he stepped up one time and we got a little push in the pocket and he didn't, wasn't able to follow through. Uh, but, you know, and then he took a shot to him on the deep ball. We got a 40-yard pass interference call. It doesn't count on the stats, but that was a huge play also. So uh, we're, we're going to continue to take a few shots and, and hopefully we'll connect here soon. You guys went quick game a lot early yesterday, which is something that hadn't been seemingly as present in the offense. What went into that decision making? Quick game? Well, I think quick game's an extension of the run also. We try to get people lined up in spots where we can get the ball out of the quarterback's hand and let our playmakers make plays. Jordan Reed's a big part of that. You know, Mo, Mo Harris had a couple, uh, you know, catch and runs. Vernon had one there at the end of the game. Uh, quick game's always been a big part of our offense since I've been here since for forever. So it's, it's a way to change the launch point of the quarterback. Uh, we have some good runners after the catch. Jordan's a great option runner. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, guys getting the ball in their hands quickly can make big yards on short passes.